tip brought to you by Envision Cat. In this tip, we're going to be taking a look at open roads geometry and the snap constraint. What we're going to do is show you how the snap constraint works and then also how to not apply a snap constraint if you don't need it. In this example here, I'm going to do a variable offset taper and I'm going to select my element and my start parameter, I'm going to be uh, two feet off from the start. And the end parameter is going to be uh, 10 feet off. And then as far as the distance goes, I'm going to go in here and snap to the key point of this line. And the distance I'm really looking for is uh, 50 feet, but it just happens to be the midpoint here. So when I actually snap into the point, I actually apply a snap constraint to this line. I can see that when I select the line here, I've got the key point snap indicator that goes along with this geometry. So that when I go to my uh, original element here and actually stretch it, you'll notice that the taper goes along with it because it actually has the snap constraint assigned to it. So if I don't want to have that happen, what I can do is when I'm placing that variable offset taper, again, I'm gonna come through here, select the element, start it to, end taper is gonna be 10, but then I'm going to do a tentative snap to the point that I'm looking for. And instead of actually just accepting at this point, I'm going to go to the end distance there and hit the enter key, which will then lock that distance. You can see there I've got a uh, distance lock and then I can accept it. So now when I take a look at this variable offset taper, you'll notice that there is no snap constraint icon any, lo any longer. So that when I come in here and actually stretch this line, this doesn't go with it. So that's um, what you need to do. So you can go into tentative snap to the point and hit enter and then you won't get a snap constraint. So the next question is going to be what if I accidentally did have a snap constraint? How do I correct that? And here's one way of doing that. Again I'm going to start out my setup at two feet over. I'm going to be uh, 10 feet over and I'm going to snap into the uh, line here. And if I want to get rid of that snap constraint, what I can do is just take any other constraint. Perhaps I want to take the overall distance of 50 and make that 65. You'll notice that the snap constraint's now gone from that element. And then I can just bring it back to 50 again. And you can see it still uh, is gone. So that's one way of getting rid of that snap constraint if you accidentally did place it. Another tip for you is if you are using reference files, you may want to turn off your snaps in that reference file so that you don't accident, accidentally snap to a element in a reference because it will honor that snap constraint through a reference file. That's the tip for working with snap constraints in open roads. Please keep this in mind for any training, consulting, or setup with open roads. Have a great day and thanks for watching.